Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna start working on a new proximity and ambient light sensor that is VCNL4010. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor and to know more about this sensor, what it is, let's have a look over the website we are referring, that's webcontroleverything.com and here we have to search for the required sensor that is VCNL4010. So we have, it's a proximity and ambient light sensor with infrared Amateur, and you can see some of its features and you can also purchase it from here as you see so for now I will be interfacing the sensor VCNL4010 proximity and ambient light sensor with an Arduino Nano and for that I require an Arduino code to get the Arduino code let's have a look over the resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample now you can have the Arduino code sample as a zip file from here that's correct also, you can have the code from GitHub repository, git from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. So you have two ways from you can get the code. Now what we require is to collect some hardware so that we can have a connections for this sensor and let's have a look over the interfacing and the working later on. Well in the hardware section, first of all we require our sensor that is a proximity and light sensor VCNL4010 and now we will be interfacing within Arduino Nano and here it comes. Now to make a connection among the sensor and the Arduino Nano we require this an I2C shield and this is available on the website controlleverything.com. The reason we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier that job. Now gently place over the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection. Now we require a connection setup to maybe made among the sensor and the I2C shield and here comes a connecting cable. Now make this connection among the cable and the sensor and while making this connection make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly for the I2C shield. So we are done with this part. The last part is to get the power. So for that we require a mini USB cable just like this and insert it over the power jack. Now we are done with the connections part. Now what we require is our Arduino code so that we can have an explanation of the code and rather than the working. Let's have a look over that also. Well in this interfacing part first of all we require a code to interface and for that we have to get to github.com first of all as you can see on my screen and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community. Now. Log in here and here search for the sensor that is VCNL4010 and here we get it. Now this is the Arduino code we would like to explore but before that let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow. So it says that we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and this is the link which will help us to install the software. So please have a look over this. I will show you. Uh, let's have a look over that. As you can see. Uh, you can download the Arduino software from here and it runs on Windows, Mac operating system X and Linux. So the environment is written in Java and based on processing and other operating software. So you can have it. Uh, please go through it carefully. Now what we require is to have the code and the explanation of that. As you can see uh, it's a dot in extension file. The first thing in the code you notice that we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x13. Now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master with serial communication and the baud rate equal to 9600. Now here we have to send command that's the writing part and we have selected the command register having address 0x80 and we have sent the enable ALS and proximity measurement LP oscillator and the writing part is 0xff. In the second part we have selected proximity read register having address 0x82 and we have set a 1.95 proximity measurements per second and the command for that is 0x00. Uh, the last command in the writing section is to select ambient light rate register that address is 0x84 and the command we are sending is continuous conversion mode ambient light rate to samples per second and the command for that is 0x90. So we are done with the writing part now we will have the opportunity to get the data back from the sensor that the response of the sensor. So we are having the response as you can see it's a for loop for 4 times and we have selected the data register having address 133 plus ii as you can see on my screen it's a decimal equivalent and we have requested it 
read four bytes of data as you can see luminance and proximity data after capturing the data we want to convert the data for luminance and proximity which is according to the conventions of the data sheet for VCNL4010 at the very end of our code we have the output data on the serial monitor which is in the form of ambient light luminance in lux and proximity of the device so we have a very generalized code as you can see now what we require is to show the practicality the working of this sensor along with the Arduino Nano let's have it now we have reached the working environment part where we have to show the practicality of this code which is very interesting in itself so first job is to copy this entire Arduino code as you can see on my screen now open up the Arduino terminal here and here we have to paste the code as we have copied and save it and VCNL is the name of the sensor VCNL4010 and here we go and verify and compile this code as you can see on my screen and now upload the code it might take a while but it will be done soon so it's done now we have to check for the output so open up the serial monitor as you can see we have the ambient light luminance and the proximity of the device now it's almost constant as there is no interference regarding the light and the proximity but when I place some object over the sensor you can measure that there is a change in ambient light luminance and the proximity of the device when I bring closure the object near the sensor you can see there is a change in regarding ambient and the proximity of the device now, here we go now instead of that when I place a light source a lighting source near the sensor you can see there is increase in ambient light luminance and there is a change in proximity of the device as I bring closer it will change show the change in ambient light luminance and the proximity of the device so this is how the sensor works as you can see it's an infrared proximity and ambient light luminance sensor so what we require is to show the benefits the features and the applications of this particular sensor that is VCNL4010 let's have a look over that also the VCNL4010 is a fully integrated proximity and ambient light sensor fully integrated means that the infrared emitter is included in the package it has 16 bit resolution it includes a signal processing IC and features standard I2C communication interface it features an interrupt function due to these features it's applicable for a lot of applications such as proximity sensor for mobile devices example smartphones touch phones PDA GPS for touch screen locking power saving etc integrated ambient light function for display keypad control contrast and dimming of mobile devices proximity optical switches for consumer computing and industrial devices and displays and a lot many now you can purchase the sensor from the website controleverything.com as you can see and you can have the code from the resource tab after that you can download it as a zip file you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end I would just like to make it clear that in case if you have any further queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments on the community page for blogs articles which are relevant to this sensor this video you can have a look over instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this go to our youtube channel in the end again uh, i wish uh, you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself thanks a lot for watching